Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about array and list in the python. So in python we can define a list with square brackets and we can give data type elements in the list. So these are the elements in list. We can print this list also. So let's run this program and see the output. So what we have done, we have defined a list. We declare an initialize list. Uh, with one to three elements and we are printing the list so here we have printed the output so we uh, unlike other languages or array we don't need to iterate through each element in the list and then print the list we can directly print the list through print statement okay and we can create an array like this first we can uh, list are inbuilt data types so we can directly create a list but arrays are not arrays are not inbuilt data type in python so first we have to import array import array then we can create an array like then we can create an array like array equal to array dot array then i iterator then elements in the array like one two three okay and we can print this array like a like this arr so if when we print this array so this whole thing will be printed including the i if we want to print only elements in the array then we have to print through iterator or loop okay let's run this program and see the output okay array Okay, so we can give line break also like print. So we have given the line break, and here we are printing about the list, and here we are printing arrays. So how I can write? I can write like this also list equal to dot format. and then list and here i can provide list so it will print list equal to then list so here we are printing list and here we are printing array suppose we want to print only elements in the array then we have to use a for loop like for num in array print num so number will be printed into separate line so it will be printed into the separate line so here we are printing numbers into separated line if we want to print numbers into one line then we have to do the formatting here we can print array equal to print number then and equal to and we can give space so now numbers will be printed by space separated values okay let's run this program and see the output and here we have to give and equal to empty string so one two three and array equal to will be on the same line because we are ending the line with with empty space so it will not create a new line so now array is printed so now we have printed array elements so in list when we try when we print the list so whole list can be printed all elements in the list can be printed but if we want to print elements in the array then we have to use a for loop okay and list is a built in data type so we can directly declare and initialize the list and array are not built in data types in the python we have to first import the array then from this imported array dot array we can declare array okay and we can print the array elements also like print array of zeroth index and we can print elements in the list also print list of zeroth element okay so one will be printed here also one will be printed okay so we have to give a new line statement here so one will be printed on the separate line okay let's run this program and see the output 
so one is printed and if you want to access the second number then index one will be given because index in the list or array will start from zero this is zeroth element this is first element this is second element now first element will be printed first element is two first index element is two second index element is three zeroth index element is one so two is printed see here see here if we give index two then three will be printed okay if we give index three array index will be out of bound error will be given because this is zeroth index this is first index this is second index array of three is nothing here we don't have any value so error will occur see error will occur because at, at three third index we don't have any elements So this is how we can access the elements in the list and array. Uh, we can use the index number and we can print the elements. We can access the elements in the array. And we can print elements using the negative index in the list also. This is negative 1 index. This is negative 2 index. This is negative 3 index. Okay. So negative 1 index will be 3 okay negative 2 index will be 2 so here 2 is printed negative 3 index will be 3 okay so 1 will be printed see 1 is printed and negative index are not supported into the array okay so we have learned index starts from 0 0 this is 0th index this is 1 index this is 2nd index in negative index start from minus 1 this is negative 2 this is negative 1 okay so third element will be at negative 1 index second element will be negative 2 index third element will be negative 3 index list are ordered data type we can uh, access the element in, in into a order like 0th index 1 index and 2nd index and arrays are also order data type we can access the elements in the array like 0th index 1 index 2nd index in the list data types may, may be same or may not be same we can have different data types also in the list but in array data types has to be same here we have integer value 1 integer value 2 integer value 3 we can have like array of strings also like a a string g b string then c c string so array can be string data types of string and array can be characters of characters or, or characters of array also and same goes with the list list can be of any data type list so list can be string data types list can be character data type characters of array and list can be combination also combination also meaning like list can be 3 then a character value character value a so this will also work but this doesn't work in the array we cannot have character value with the numeric value either the all the elements in the array sh should be same data either sh all the elements in the array should be character value like a b c or all the elements should be numeric value or all the elements should be the string value data types of the elements should be same in the array but in the list data types may differ so here uh, this list is printed with the a value because list can have different data types also okay so in list we can have strings also string name we can have boolean data types also like true we can have another list into this into this list like 4 comma 5 we can have set also 1 comma 2 we can have tuple also we can have dictionary also a 1 then we have another key b which has 33 value so in this list we have numerical values we have character values we have a string 
we have boolean data type we have another list in this list we have a set we have a tuple we have a dictionary in this list so list can contain different data types also let's run this program and see the output see this list is printed okay okay let's make it our list to original one this was our original list so suppose if i want to add an element in the array in this list suppose i want to add a fourth, fourth element into the list then i can use list dot append next in the list so see a value is appended in the list suppose if we want to append a value in the array so this is how we can append a value in the array also but adding a new values into the list are easy adding new values into the array are not easy it takes a lot of time because size of the array is always fixed size of this array was fixed it had two elements and we want to append a new element so what will happen internally internally new array will be declared of size 4 size 4 it will have size 4 1 2 3 4 so all the array all the, all the elements in the in this new array will be copied from the existing array so one will be copied one will be copied then two will be copied then three will be copied then four will be appended so this is costly this is costly in in terms of effort because array size was fixed it, it has size of this array was three elements only and size of so and we want to append a new element 4 in this array so what will happen new array of size 4 will be created and all elements of the existing array will be copied in this array 1 2 3 and new element will be added into this array so this is how internally happens when we try to append the element in the array but in list size of the list is not fixed size of this list must be like 50 for example 50 is a for example for example size of the list is 50 so we can append new elements we can append 5 6 7 up to many numbers because size of the list is very large so we have learned many differences between list and array size uh, data types in the array is always same and list can contain different data types value also list are built-in data structures in the python and array are not building data structures in the python we have to import array then we can use the array okay and if you want to append a size of the array is always fixed if you want to append a new value in the array then new array will be declared of size existing array plus one and all the values of existing array will be copied into the new array this is how append operation works so this is costly and size of the list is always larger than its elements suppose size of this list was 100 and we want to append a new element in this list so new element will be appended easily okay and if you want to print the list we can print list directly uh, print list then list will be printed and if you try to print the array directly this line number 13 then array will be printed with this iterator index okay and and if we want to print the elements in the, of this array then we have to iterate through for loop okay and uh, how we can declare a list we can declare a list with a square brackets and how we declare an array we declare array like this array dot array then iterator i then one two three elements in the array okay elements in the list is stored at continuous memory location elements in the array is also stored into continuous memory locations and we can access the element through the index 0 index 1 index and 2 index in the list we can access elements in the array also with the index 0 and 1 and 2 index and we cannot access elements using the negative index in the array but we can access elements in the list using a negative index like list of minus 3 negative star index start from the last element minus 1 this will be minus 2 this will be minus 3 
and it is not like flexible flexible because addition and deletion has to be done in the ordered manner but in list list are more flexible we have large number of data then arrays are prepared and we have very less number of data then in lists are prepared we want to have nested array uh, with the arrays then they have to be same size like array size of this array is 3 then nested array size will be 3 only the size of the nested list can be a variable suppose we have a 1 comma 2 comma 3 in the list and we have another nested list in this list so it can be any number like it can be one number of the list we can have two elements in the list we can have three elements in the list we can have four elements in the list we can have five elements in the list but in the in the case of array nested array should be of same size so these are the differences we have learned between the array and list in the python